Welcome to our latest Wondering Walks of Wonder Museum tour. Today we're headed to the Indiana State Museum in downtown Indianapolis, Indiana. This museum showcases the state science, art, culture, and history from prehistoric times to today. The museum can trace its history back to 1862 when state librarian R. DeLoss Brown started a collection of curiosities. In 1869, the Indiana General Assembly passed a law to collect and preserve a geological and mineralogical cabinet of the state's natural history. Managed by a state geologist, the collection grew to include various natural history and cultural items including artifacts from the Civil War. Originally, the, the museum was located in the Indiana State House from 1919 through about the 1960s. Then in 1967, it moved to the Old City Hall building where it became, it became an accredited museum. And in 2002, this larger, much nicer museum opened in the White River State Park area. This is the first of two parts of a video on the Indiana State Museum. This first part deals mainly with the natural history aspects of the state, and it's very appropriate that we begin in the Natural Regions exhibit. Here we can explore Indiana's diverse and dramatic landscapes as early European explorers once did. As we go along in this particular exhibit, we'll discover the large animals that roamed towering forests and the birds that flocked Indiana's extensive wetlands. We'll also journey through time to understand the changes in biodiversity that has shaped Indiana's land and wildlife. A male blue jay shrieks to proclaim his territory. After a successful hunt, the mountain lion growls and snarls to protect its precious meal from freeloaders. A gray squirrel spots a distant predator and begins to warn its neighbors, causing a commotion in the treetops. A white-tailed doe, detecting a mountain lion ready to pounce, signals its fawn that danger lurks nearby. Eastern Gray Tree Frog. Spring Peeper.
Our next exhibit explores the First Nations, which is the story of Indiana's founding people. Here we'll experience the rich heritage of Indiana's founding people through interactive elements, and we'll also gain a better understanding of how the ancestors of today's Native Americans built vibrant communities centered around games, food, and traditions that continue to shape cultures even through today. This particular exhibit tells the story of these foundational people and highlights their enduring presence in living Native American communities up through today. Here we move into the world of the frozen rain. From the Arctic Kingdom, the Ice Age returns. We'll journey back in time to long before humans when glaciers advanced and retreated, shaping the landscape and creating diverse habitats for such animals as jaguars and rhinos that once lived in Indiana. As the glaciers returned, mammoth and mastodons thrived in this harsh climate. Here we'll explore an ice tunnel, a jaguar's den, and a frozen lake to encounter the Ice Age animals that once roamed throughout Indiana. We'll also discover how glaciers carve the earth, compare our weight to that of a giant sloth, and learn why mammoth and mastodon teeth differ. Amidst the sounds of 
birds near the cool northern lake shore. A large mastodon moves onto the frozen lake. With a sharp crack of breaking ice, the terrified beast suddenly crumbles, shocked by immersion in icy water. In vain, the mastodon struggles wildly to gain a foothold and escape. Listen as the scene in front of you unfolds. Female elephant in heat rumbles after mating. A male elephant in musk warns that he is agitated. An elephant's trumpet blast threatens lions.
Now we immerse ourselves in a totally different Indiana. Imagine the Indiana that existed millions of years ago in the past. In this exhibit, we see fascinating fossils of organisms that lived in ancient forests as well as the shallow seas that once were part of the dramatic landscape of the state's ecosystem. Here we come face to face with creatures that disappeared from our planet millions of years, years ago, including predatory eutrapids as well as swimming nautilids. Keep an eye out for one of your more favorite fossils here in the museum. One of the more kid-friendly areas, as well as one where you can learn quite a bit, is this naturalist lab. The lab is a place for hands-on exploration of natural sciences, including paleobiology, archaeology, geology, and much more. Our final exhibit on this first part of our tour of the Indiana State Museum is what's known as Gallery One. Here the museum invites us to explore a destination dedicated to showcasing the lives and experiences of those who call Indiana home. This unique collection of priceless objects and artifacts comes to life in really surprising ways and tells powerful stories that inspire and spark conversations. Here we have the opportunity to interact with different objects in a provocative as well as oftentimes playful ways and discovering inspiration in the most unexpected spaces.
Romans, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I see that you gentlefolk have assembled here. I hope you've enjoyed this tour through the Indiana State Museum. Make sure to look for part two of the museum tour where we explore much more of the history of Indiana. Also make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you on our next Wondering Walks of Wonder Museum Tour. Take care now. Bye-bye.